Hello guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer your contact libraries from one computer to another or let's say if you're going to uh, reinstall Windows or install the new version of Windows uh, how you can transfer your libraries. Now uh, as you can see this computer is um, a new computer with Windows 10. We don't have much on it except contact and if we open contact you can see that there's no libraries uh, added uh, we have the library on disk but it's not showing in the libraries tab now usually uh, you would have to go up here click on add library find your library and click on ok but the problem is that you're only allowed to transfer one library at a time If we go to the file tab and uh, choose the choose one of the libraries, uh, you're going to get a message saying that you have to add the library first, uh, which makes us go back to square one where we have to add the library one by one. And at least for professionals who have a lot of libraries, let's say 30 or 50 libraries plus, it would take a long time to add all of the libraries manually. You could do it. But this video is going to show you how you can uh, transfer all of your libraries without having to click up here all the time. Now the first step in order to transfer your libraries is to actually transfer the libraries themselves. Uh, so if we go to my computer uh, we can see that we have two drives and on the second drive, the Z drive, we have our contact libraries. And it is very important that you have the exact same directory structure as you had on your pre previous computer, um, on your new computer. So on our previous computer we had all of our libraries in the Z drive and the contact libraries, native instruments and so on. So you want to maintain that same directory structure. So first, of course, transfer all of your libraries, which we have done already. And now I'll show you how you can get all the libraries up and running in contact. Uh, but we have to go back to the old computer to back up some contact registry files first. So we're going to go back to the old computer. So now we are back on our old machine again and if we open the registry editor um, we're going to locate a file called native instruments and the local machine and export it. Uh, normally if you don't know how um, you would just click on the start menu type regedit and open this window and you can see local machine up here. We want to expand it, go to software and native instruments. It's important that you choose the native instruments folder under local machine and not current user or any other key. As you can see uh, native instruments contains all of the libraries that we have added to our machine and so it's naturally we want to export this um, and import it on our new machine. So we're going to right click this native instruments key, click on export and you can place it wherever you want and give it a name that you can recognize. We can call it local machine native instruments. <coughs> Click on save and we can close the uh, registry editor. And now you can see that we have the file over here. So what you need to do now is to transfer this file to your new computer some, somehow. Um, you can use cloud storage or a USB stick or whatever you want, just make sure you find it. So now we're going to go back to our new computer with Windows 10. So now we're on our new machine and before we do anything more we have to back up our registry. It's always important to back up your registry before you make any changes in case something goes wrong. So we'll go to the start menu and type regedit. Click 
click on yes and we want to navigate to local machine software and native instruments or you can actually just um, back up your whole reg registry but um, I'll just choose this one click on export call it and I backup and save it on the desktop just in case something goes wrong So now we'll have to locate the uh, registry key that we exported in our old machine. And in this case, I have it here. And all you need to do is to double click on it, click on yes. And it's gonna ask if you want to import the registry to your computer, click on yes. And it says that it has been successfully added to the registry and click okay. So now if we open contacts again, you can see that all of the libraries have been added to contact uh, and we didn't click on this button every time. And as you can see, it's a lot of contact libraries. Uh, you might have noticed that the, li the libraries are giving you a message saying library content not found, click on locate to set the content. And this is actually just because I didn't uh, actually physically transfer all of the uh, contact libraries to my new computer. I just transferred one uh, for demonstration purposes. So in this case, it was uh, the West Africa library. And I'll try to find it here. Yeah, there you can see the West Africa uh, library. So if we try to load up one of the instruments, the beautiful instruments, uh, you can see that it's working perfectly. So normally you would have pictures on all of these libraries. It's just because I didn't uh, transfer all of the actual library files to my new computer. And that's how you transfer your contact libraries from one machine to another machine. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. If you want to read more about this, you can read on my webpage called doorlab.net. Uh, that is doorlab as in the YouTube username. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.